and some blacks on here. Made a couple changes in my most recent deck. Now running <coughs> only the one she's or as well as no ways to get him back. up some card slots. Let's see if it's an improvement. My opponent is playing Quiet Mind and Colony. So that, that was a definite mistake on my part. 
he doing? He's not gonna have to draw their fire in this deck. I'll, if I need to draw the last card of force, I will. It would have been a whole lot better to have done it this past turn though than this one. Like, I might presumably want to keep barrier up or something like that. Fades and I'll take Looters. Another card that is particularly important to him in this match. So now I'll use that Force Lightning to begin my Force Bomb. Save two. Don't draw the ceasefire. It sounds. Since it's really good against KMC. Yeah. Let's draw all that. get the Sonic Bombardment thing going. Is there any reason to do that right now? I guess not. So, by not 
not sonicking now. I preserve the four on top. I'm fine with that. Or actually, I just lose two. Kind of not important. I'll search and destroy. I'll definitely lose. <laughs> That's not coming up in this match. I don't think. I'll lose one accelerate, so I'll, I'll lose this from hand. Where will I? I have two accelerates in hand right now. I kind of want both those cards in hand. Same battles. Actually, no, no. There's an obvious answer here. Prison. Alright, so now I play ceasefire. I lose the Sonic, or I lose the search and destroy, and the Sonic. I just hope he doesn't draw seven. He doesn't. So I lose the Vigo. So another question is, do I have any draw phase actions? Do we want to search for the force lightning now? Or should I activate first? Or should I have a circular first? See, I kind of want that Vigo in reserve, just in case. So let's search for force lightning now. But we'll wait on the accelerate. I could accelerate for the blast door controls or for no escape. Both seem useful. Though not this turn, of course. Let's go ahead and make them lose two. Gary, that's kind of a shame. Lost our controls and no escape are both active, so I'm not paying three to search anything. I could grab the other Vigo, move him over here. Back up, she's over with that. There's no force saved. have 14 active. So I could 6, 9, 11 for Vigo, 12 to battle. It's pretty good, Zuckus and Forlom here. 
that's hard to respond to. Then presumably any ground deployment he does would be pretty weak. He's got 14 cards in hand, but he has no force active. Not gonna have a better time to kill Harksaf. Harksaf gives him one, two, three, four force once I play the security tower. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. I'll also by searching during his turn, I can preserve the Emperor Shuffle in case I have like a one or something on top of my deck. Alright, so let's go ahead and play this. Search out the Vito V. in that order. Yeah, yeah. This is the because if you lost the over the only way to get Hark Staff on top is if you lose the overseer first. And that's a simultaneously lost card so you can choose which one goes on top, but that would mean he'd only have 5 forfeit, and he's out powered by 7. Right, so now Vigo moves over here. I don't actually remember what this top card of my force pile is right now. I probably should have been finished with that. I'm just going to draw it. Ellis, okay. That's something I would have wanted to have in my hand, so had I been paying attention, I would have decided to draw. Assuming Walkling. I wonder if he's been doing that all game. I do that sometimes. I just think I have Walkling out because I'm playing a light side deck. Oh, you just activated a Lebanon. Yeah. But now he just activated. Alright, 10. There, there you go. Alright. That's 10 force. Five over 
space. That's pretty much expected. Actually, I might be able to do enough damage here. That, uh... Actually, I can probably do enough here. That. If I activate my six, I can kill something. I can kill what's left. So where was my six again? Six, nine, ten. Eleven. So fourteen from the top. Right, what did I do last turn? just deployed oh Vigo as well. So six, nine, eleven, twelve. Thirteen from the bottom, so twelve from the top. Sure. Um, I should know the top two cards are in reserve, and I've forgotten them already. What's the question? Are you talking about the close? Yep. That's the plan. That's the plan. Alright, so I still need to lose four here. I think it's not feasible to to that six. Well, I can get a smuggler on that thing. If I get like Banis Key on it. That's pretty good. But no, I just had one attrition. I'd need the six. Let's think about this. If I activate 10, I'd have the 6 on top. I could go for 8, 9. That's the battle. I draw 6. I kill. But then I might have to forfeit my space as well. Where is that getting us? Not really anywhere. <laughs> then I'd have to lose four from hand if I do that. What would be the right, so I can lose one thing? Falling 
Lion's Fist, maybe. Probot, no, not that. Force push, I guess. Kind of. Or I could shuffle. Activate every number. It's a two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Activate 16. If I shuffle and make myself likely to draw the Boba Fett. 4, 8, 13, 14, 15, 16. And I'll likely have a guy with ship remaining. That's pretty good. And that's likely to kill. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Alright. So I need to shuffle right away. I can do that. So. Let's go ahead and lose one, two, three. Lose this we'll switch off or not? No, but let's put it back. And we'll peek at the remaining card in my force file. my turn. I start by searching for the force lightning. Alright, I forgot I played two wolf. It might not have been necessary to search. Yeah, whatever. Two, huh? Yeah, he thought when I was peeking that I was making him lose two, but that was not the case. Alright, so he has no force saved. So now the question is do I force push now? I think I do. If I peek now, it's just to verify that there's a Boba Fett in there. It seems like kind of a waste because I won't know the order afterwards. So yeah, let's let's force push now. Putting back five. five I don't know. Uh, what's the second card I put back? I guess I'll put back Ellis. Ellis. This isn't yet a game where Alice has come out that big. There's the Boba Fett bounty hunter. If I knew everything about my deck, I'd know where everything is, but I'm not entirely sure what's remaining. like Django's in reserve. That's not good. But presumably I have enough. Now let's peek at the order. Actually, do we do that? Four, eight. So... Four, eight, thirteen. First strike makes fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, I'm actually not going to save anything. So, oh well, no, I'd like to know where some things are. So, yeah, we're peeking at the order. Like, let's look where the sixes are. Okay, so 6 will be the third card from the bottom next turn, and the the 
Let's see, I have to use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it'll be the, the 15th card from the top will also be a 6. Alright, so the third. Alright. So now let's go ahead and. Oh, can I. Do I have that smuggler in my deck right now? I think I do. Well, let's search my deck. Bandit's Keek is in there. I do play two Garys. I was wondering if I did or not. I'm not sure if it actually is the second Gary that worked it. Alright, so this pulls out one, two. So is that better? No, because he's not a bounty hunter, so both that doesn't add an extra destiny with it. But it pulls a two out. Let's see. So, let's see. And I'd rather, I'd much rather have Dengar on the ground. I get two Destiny, Attrition plus two. So I'd have to draw, and I pull out the one, two. So I'd have to draw the two low Destinies in order not to crack the Attrition. So I think it's worth it to pull the Smuggler now. There's only a 25% chance of me missing here. Key, draw a card, Django, okay, that's perfect. So, yeah, there's now a 0% chance that I don't kill Luke, assuming that he has no interrupts of any kind. Let's see, they both add 3, right? Yep. Play Bow with a Bounty Hunter. Play First Strike. See if he wants to pull aim high or finally pull the grabber shield. He does just pull aim high. Interesting. Alright, so I will battle here. Retrieve the force push. I say it was 14, so this card should be a switch off on top of my force file now. <laughs> Interesting. We have to lose one to first strike first. Is it worth it for me to peek right now? I don't see why. I don't think there's an action I could take, so. Alright, six. Oh, there. Nice. Got the two sixes. So, I have 19 and 14 nutrition, and I'm fortunately immune to his. So I'm, I'm, I'm in pretty good control of this game, I would say. Yep. 
yeah, yeah, I'm really completely in control. He might not even flip. He presumably has two sites remaining in the deck. Well, he could pull one. So I'm not sure why he gave me the verify. Is it on the other side? Yeah, that makes sense. Use the non-battlegrounds to split up the battlegrounds as much as possible. And presumably the other site that he has is the North Corridor. That site is very good. another coin gun. So I will cease fire so I lose one first or let's see, should I yeah, I'll use the coward here. This feels like a situation for coward. As opposed to secret plans. I lose two to or lose one to first strike. Lose from the carry. Now I lose two to place cease fire. Let's go ahead and lose. I feel like program trap is not gonna be very good this game. And um Yeah, now there's falling swiss. Well maybe falling swiss will turn up. Okay. Um, I'll just lose this card from you spell barrier. Okay. I draw six here, which is okay, but I mean it doesn't really matter. Just a five, if you get covers, I draw the six. So I've got Now she's always kind of alone. And I don't have the Gary. I mean, you can't pull Gary. I already used my Imperial City pull, that's a once per game pull. But also. And Luke's dead, so. She's or can retreat if need be, or I can find a barrier. I think I played two barriers. Alright, let's see. Just a Coruscant with Django aboard. Movie 
Shizor over here, try to draw into some protection for Shizor. Let's see what I can do in terms of protection for Shizor. Right, we're getting rid of, we must accelerate our plans now. Conceding, I think. Yeah, this was this was not close. Uh, OBS seems like it's a pretty good deck, and this is a good matchup for me. And yeah, he attacked. I mean, also he. Spent two attacks on Shizor that took his entire turn and didn't actually produce anything. Had I not had Ceasefire, that would have been a better play. I mean, it was a fine play. It's just I had the card that uh, punished him for it. So, um, yeah. to play again, so actually we may have the stream continue to go, although actually I'm not sure I can play again, eh. yeah, let's do another one, let's do another one. Switching sides. We want to play with light side here. I'm gonna play watcher step. Oops. Alright. We gotta end this game. One thing you have to make sure you do when uh playing the games is make sure not to both load at the same time. I'll let him load first. Oh wait, didn't we do the smash yesterday? Oh, I should have played a different deck. I had forgotten about this. So yeah, I play those three effects against Hoth. Alright, well maybe this will uh This seems like a good match for me. This might be the best deck against Hoth, the best light side deck against Hoth. This hand is great. <laughs> it's got the boss dash chambers puller. We got Melos and Dodge. So, main loss to Canteen is easy. I have all wings, so I can grab whichever ship I can get both halves of. Um, the only thing that I don't have that I would like to have, I guess I'd, if this Hoochix could be moving to attack position, I would be even happier with this hand. And this it could be worse is not exactly so. Like there are two cards that are kind of not the greatest, but that's an extremely good ratio of desired cards to undesired cards. So this I mean this hand isn't perfect, but it's pretty close.
like if I was asked what my perfect opening hand was. This card would be in it, or a Wisa. This would be in it. This. This. This, or a ship, or a or pilot. So, I mean, there are a lot of outs for that. So, there are a lot of outs for all these cards, but... I don't know what he's showing me. What, what did he miss? He didn't miss with Kuat Drive Yards. What did he miss with? He missed with IAO? Is that what he missed? What did he... So what, what, is the Executor DB in hand? Is that what it is? And maybe actually this would have been in here because he had undercover spies last turn. Last time. So that's six outs for the cards I want. Yeah, I think all six of these would bang in my perfect starting hand. And what would the other two be? Barrier and move into attack position. Or maybe barrier and control tunnel vision. Well, I mean, why would Control Tunnel Vision be in my perfect hand, right? I mean, if I'm picking out all my cards anyway, why would Tunnel Vision couldn't be... There must be something I'd want a Tunnel Vision for. No, but Tunnel Vision doesn't let me reevaluate later. Either way, this hand is good, is the point. So I activate 10. Search with Watcher Step. Let's see, Kessel is in there. Mirax and Pulsar Skater are both in there. I've activated both movings and barrier, so there's a decent chance I draw one of those. Alright, so. I could get Outrider and Dash, but Pulsar Skate and Mirax has higher immunity and is not as potent uh, offensive weapon and has the added bonus of having the Mirax text. Golden objective, I will pull golden rod and grab her. And barrier. Okay. That's great. Love having barrier. I'm super thrilled with this hand. I will barrier any ship, I think. Well, no, uh, probably any ship, yeah. I probably will barrier any ship. In character, I'm not going to barrier, I'm just going to plan on dodging. Oh, did I? I probably would have noticed if the Lars Moisture Farm was in my reserve, right? I wouldn't have just looked past it. I hope not. I didn't check for that, which is obviously wrong. But I think I would have noticed it had it been in there.
grab that because I want to save one for the bear. That's kind of an argument for having saved two, but no. No, I'd rather I'd rather have a card in hand than the app to grab the Imperial Command right now. So build Monty. Either Veers is yeah, Veers is probably in his hand already then, is my assumption. the convention I have is to put the site on top, but it makes more sense to have the effect on top. Because right now, like, how do you know what the effect that is? Oh, it has two lines of text. It must be Image of the Dark Lord. You just have to remember, right? The image, to me, is the most important part about recognizing the card. So this Tempest 1, it's the 5th marker. Interesting. Is he not? Yeah, he's not going to add Veers. Hmm. Or thought he'd go, like, 5th marker and Veers. Alright, so during his draw phase, let's go ahead and pull that weapons display. Secret plans out. So I will pay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, three, thirteen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yep. check my deck. Let's just assume that I am not an idiot and that Tatooine Lars Marcher Farm was active last turn. There it is. Okay. Looks like Tabor is active like my father before me. Er, is in reserve like my father before me. is also in reserve. So I play Luke right now. He's not getting a saber. If I play Luke right now, let's see, Dash is active, Outrider is not, so I could conceivably get Outrider. Pull that, that doesn't seem that great for me. I think I'm just going to draw some cards. Both control tunnel visions are in force. That's nice. Okay. Let's draw. Mm, keep on drawing. Draw more. Yeah, there we go. I also kind of want Talon card. There, there's Talon card. I'm not gonna pretend like uh, this hasn't been great in terms of drawing. Maybe I should have Miraxed this turn. Yeah, Miraxed last turn. I'll Mirax now. Miraxing. One of the character nights. Hey, there we go. Bonic Hand, not a bad pickup. I have to lose one to his effect. I'm going to, it could be worth it. Given that I have it's a hit. the grabber in response. Let's just assume the grabber was already out because it would be if this was like a 
Dude, I want to play against, like, people that pull their covers ahead of time. Not, like, whatever. He wants to punish himself. That's fine. Well, actually, it could be worse than there. It's not that good for me. Actually, probably it was a mistake. Because, well, it's, I mean, I, I was about to say, because... Now I don't have anything to retreat with weapons display. Yeah, yeah, it was wrong. I should have just lost one instead of using the could be rush right here. Especially if he has a grabber up. Whatever. We're just, uh. We're going to proceed as we have. Eh, he plays executor. Admiral Nadi on board. Saves no force. Mm, can I kill that? Eh. Well, probably. Well, I haven't grabbed command. He might have a command. Yeah, and see, I could have weapons displayed, but no. Alright, let's see, what do I do? I guess I just activate. Let's activate 16. Train for two. I guess I could have tall vision from my like got two cards. No, oh, that's not good. Alright, so let's see. If I tall vision here I'm gonna I'm gonna tall vision here. We'll figure out what to do with the tunnel vision once I see what's in force. Alright, so Han is in force. Falcon is also in force, so that's too bad. So I could double tunnel vision for the Han and the Falcon. What about Dash? Dash is also in force. I could triple tunnel vision for Han, Falcon, Dash. I kind of want, I'll take the leader too. I can't quadruple tunnel vision. That is beyond me. I could just add some more smugglers on board things. Do I really need dash? Not really. Well, yeah, I'd rather have I'll take the leader than dash. Although I kind of need the all wings. Yeah, if he has Imperial Command, that makes this whole... bad if I don't have all wings. So I could... Well, what if I just tunnel vision for the dash here? Play dash and Elors aboard. What about moving to attack position? I could, yeah. So that would be 11 power immunity to attrition. And he would have Five power. I get two destiny to his one. So even if he commands, I'm up significantly. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. So dash rendar and our two moving act now. No. Alright, so let's let's just use the other tunnel version command. Dash rendar and moving to attack position. I'm gonna play a second control tunnel vision for that. Have I turned already? Eh, eh, eh. Now. Well, actually, I don't really want to play this guy here because of undercover spies, but now I have Luke and I can sorry about the mess. So, yeah, that's not that bad.
Yeah, and this way I can probably attack with Falcon next turn. Or maybe attack with Falcon next turn. Should I play Luke? I can play Luke for seven here. Get a use pile search. What would I get with the use pile search? It seems kind of good, but I probably want the uh, force to moving again. Could I get like my father before me with the use pile search? That would give me the force moving. And I'd be able to get Luke's lightsaber in the future. No, no, I want Luke where? Nah. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I don't remember if, like, my father before me and Luke's lightsaber went forth, so I didn't really check for them. Well, let's squadron assignments for Talon. See what's my reserve deck. My father before me, no Luke's lightsaber. I don't know how good that is to do. It does give me another guy on the ground. I mean, that's something, right? And a use file search, which gets me. I mean, the thing that gets me the saber, that's not very good. Because what if I activate the saber next turn? But it does let me throw down a card, battle, so that saves... No, because I want to grab... Yeah, because I want to grab the command if you place it. So, let's see. Do I just want to throw, like, Talon to the docking bay or something? Eh, eh. Let's just battle him. Move into attack position on Outrider. So it's now power 11. Let's see your action. I'll just kind of remind him of that because he sometimes doesn't say that he passes. Alright, so I will reduce power by 9. So he's at, wait, 16 minus, wait, no, no, reduce power by 11. So 16 minus 11, yeah, it's 5. So 5 to my 11. And it's his action again. So we draw Battle Destiny, I draw three, and does he do anything to that? I'll give him a few seconds. Five. Alright, so I have, let's see, 29 attrition. So he's got nine. Like, I can't kill it with attrition, like I maybe could if it's a falcon, but mm, in a pretty good spot in terms of, you know, powers. So he loses Mati for five. He loses Executor as well. Okay, that's good. Um, so do I move to Kashyyyk? No, I can't move to Kashyyyk because I have hyperspeed zero. So I'll just draw some cards. There's Captain Han. That's good. That's good. Draw another one. Oh, okay. That's good. Draw another one. Yeah. All right. Should I Dark Lighter spin for the Falcon now so I don't activate it? Yeah, I think so. Yep, 
Nope, it's still... It's still in the force pile. Well, that's where it was active. That's too bad. I can use it by maxing now. Mm. And let's lose from reserve. And max Louisa. And just a second touch. Mm. Not a bad thing. Century ships. Yep, that's totally fine. Is he getting back, Zuckus? Yep. Hmm, I'm gonna bury you. Well, can I bury you, Zuckus? And I'll have 11 power, choose 4, and something else. Yeah, I'll bury you, Zuckus. So I can't actually get to this. I'll take the leader if I retrieve it. With the walkling. I kind of want to retrieve it with the walkling. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's retrieve with the walkling. We'll get a six back in the deck. Use another force to get myself to the uh, Linen Falcon, hopefully, and, right, and let's go ahead and weapon display as well. Squadron assignments for Captain Han. Seventy-five percent chance I hit the Falcon here, and I do. That's good. Mm. I want some of these cars, I think. Okay, he just concedes. He doesn't have the gig, so. That's gonna be game. Seventeen, yeah, and I have three destiny. Yeah, that wouldn't, that wouldn't really be close. All right. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.